Right, staying with water challenges, the city of Cape Town says newly installed membrane biological reactor technology at its Zandfleet plant is expected to improve water quality and increase treatment capacity. Upgrades to the facility come at a time when other metros are struggling to provide reliable water supply with little money available for infrastructure upgrades. This is Africa's Nasi P. Same reports. The city of Cape Town says two billion rand upgrade to the Zandvleet wastewater treatment works is vital to meet the needs of rapidly growing communities like Delft, Kailicha and Cryfontein. The facility is now home to Africa's biggest membrane biological reactor, which is capable of treating wastewater to near drinking standards. This is a really, really important infrastructure project for dignity, for the future of the city's water, uh, and, and for creating jobs as well in this community. This has been a massive construction project for, for many years. This uh, facility produces water which is 98% clean. It's incredible quality. Uh, and the idea is then to send it uh, under the highway, over the road, onto the mountains there, where it will go through ultra-high-tech uh, filtration. Uh, and, and additional treatment and will be restored to 100% beautiful drinking water standard. The upgrade will increase treatment capacity from 72 to 90 million litres per day. The idea of the membranes is we have these sort of um, ultrafiltration, hollow fibre um, strings hanging in the, uh, in the reactor and what happens is we actually suck the liquid through these strands and it leaves behind all the solids or most of the solids and contaminants and results in a very superior clear effluent free of most contaminants and um, uh, an effluent that meets the license requirements uh, as issued to us by DWS. So um, the advantage that we get from using membranes is superior quality and also a much more uh, better product that can handle sort of peak loads on the plant and it also use, it takes up a much smaller footprint. Um, we've now installed uh, 93 membrane cassettes on this plant, making it the largest uh, membrane plant of its kind, ultrafiltration, uh, in Africa. The Western Cape Water and Sanitation Department says technological advances are helping municipalities to better manage water resources efficiently and sustainably. When you look at artificial uh, intelligence, you look at digitalizing, you know, getting the data proper. You cannot manage what you do not know. For an example, now at Zanfleet, uh, Zanfleet Wastewater Treatment Works, this is a membrane filtration uh, plant and it requires a highly skilled uh, te technology. It's a highly skilled technology which requires highly skilled uh, skills. So now when you digitalize everything, you can manage the plant even when you're in your office. You can manage the plant. You can see what is going into the water resources. You can see what is getting in the plant. You can also see if the plant is receiving something which is a constant which is out of specification. The city is hoping to add around 7% portable water supply by 2040 through various initiatives. For News from Africa on Channel 405, I'm Nasipisame in Makassar.